Instagram, Instagram, Instagram. Today we're gonna to talk about how to gain 1,000 followers on Instagram without spending money. Because you may be thinking, well, easy for you to say, Dan, you've got over 800,000 followers on Instagram. But what if I'm just getting started or I don't have the resources, I don't have the money, I cannot pay to do shout outs. What can we do to just gain some followers on Instagram? Just kind of get it going, right? Again, I'm Blake joining me, my social media director also the one who manages my social media account, my Instagram account. So Blake, talk to us. In the beginning, I know you worked with, before you joined my team, you worked with some clients, yeah. which where they don't have a lot of resources, they don't That's have right. a lot of money, but you've helped them grow their Instagram account and get more followers. How That's did right. you do that? Well, so a client that I had, she started with me with 200 followers, and she has no money. 200. 200. Yeah. You know, and, and now she's at over 11,000 followers. Yes. And we haven't spent a dime on anything. Wow. No shout outs. No shout outs. It's all organic. And, uh, no, no paid. No paid. No pay ads. No yep. ads. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really easy for people to assume like, oh, I, I can't do it because I'm not, you know, Dan, I don't have resources or whatever. But the truth is the first like 50,000 followers that we got together, it was all organic. We organic. didn't do anything. We just, we, we developed we a solid strategy, right? So they weren't even that good of a post. No, no, <laughs> they weren't good at all. It's been a lot of iterations oh, over man. time, right? Yes. But the main thing is that it doesn't matter if you're starting with 200 followers or 50,000 or 150,000. There's three rules that pretty much always stay true. All right. Let's and, hear them. All right. So number it. one is setting up your account for success. And the way that you do that is making sure that you actually take the time to develop like a theme and a niche and make sure that your Instagram account is something that speci specifically speaks yes. to somebody or, yes. or a group of people more uh, because it's like I say, if you, if you try to talk to everybody or message to everybody, or like, like you say, if you try to market to everybody, you actually are marketing nobody. nobody. Yeah. Think of it this way, if you go into a subway and you yell, hey everybody, nobody's gonna actually look and listen to you. Mm. But if you go down there and you yell, Hey John, you're gonna get a few people to turn their heads, right? right? Because it's very specific. So number one is actually defining a niche. Uh, you know, build a, an avatar. Make make a, an example avatar of like your perfect audience. Yeah. Because if you don't do that, then you're just gonna start making posts and writing things that make no sense to anybody in particular, and then you won't get anybody's interest. Yeah. Not all followers are created equal. You want the right kind of followers. Example: If you are a personal trainer or in the, in, in the fitness training business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, show off your body, show us, show us your workout, your track, certain type of clients, that's perfect. But you have to be very clear who you are talking to, your message within the post, the photos, they, they have to fit your brand. So mm -hmm. we're not just getting attention for the sake of getting attention, because down the road, even you want to monetize, example, if you want to promote other people's products and services, it's much more powerful when you know exactly who you're talking to, right? What, what problems are you solving for your followers? Number two, if you want sponsorship, mm -hmm. sponsor posts, well, the sponsor would be sitting down with you and talking, okay, so who are your people? Yeah. And if you say, well, it's everybody, well, then it's not worth a whole lot. No, you know what? My, my posts, I focus on, you know, uh, moms who, who want to look better and have more confidence and, and look healthier. Well, that's a very different thing. It is. Yeah, that they would want to, the, the sponsors, the advertisers, companies, brands, they're willing to pay much more money for you to post something versus, oh, just, yeah, I do stupid shit on, on Instagram <laughs> and, and I yeah. have a lot of people watching me doing stupid stuff. So well, that's, that's one way, but that's not the way I recommend. What's rule number two? Rule number two is to be consistent and you know, just keep messaging like almost every day. That, that, that's a great point because in the beginning, when Blake told me, well, see for Dan, we have to post every day. I'm like, every day? Yeah. Where, the, where am I gonna get all these photos? I do these posts. <laughs> like it's, it felt like a huge commitment. Yeah. At, at, like for me, because I'm always very busy. So on every single day I do a post, is it worth my time? Mm -hmm. But we cannot emphasize this enough. Why do we need to post every day? So actually, we, we now post three times three a day. Three times a day. Okay, here we go. And there's some brands, some accounts that actually post up to eight times a day. Mm. Sometimes more. You know, mm. it's almost becoming like, a, you know, like Twitter's very popular too now, right? Like with mm. the, how many times you can message. But mm. the reason why is because if you train your fans to receive a message or some kind of content from you, and then all of a sudden it's, it disappears, mm. then there's two things. The fans, 
start to like not have a habitual way of connecting with you every day. Mm. And the second thing is that the algorithm will actually start to downplay your account and, and rank it lower in the algorithm because the honest, algorithm wants you to create more exactly. Content, right? It wants you to post every day. It wants you yeah. to post multiple times a day. Right. It wants you to keep your Instagram stories full mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, the more consistent you are with the platform, the more it favors you, and it'll push your content in front of your people more. Yeah, and I liked Instagram because you know, way it's very immediate. Mm -hmm. It's very very immediate. Just like all social media platforms, but uh, Instagram fans, they they will tell, oh, I love this, right? Yeah. They, they would share. They would they would bookmark it. They would heart yeah. it. Like it's a very you, you upload something within like minutes. Yeah you will get a response. Is it a good post? Is it not a good post? Is it a good photo? Is it not a good photo, right? So I find that uh, fascinating, but it's very, very important, that consistency. You have to integrate the social media, I always believe, with your your day-to-day -day life. If you're doing something, yeah, share. It's, it's almost just share with your fans, right? Make that connection. Hey, here's what we're doing. Hey, we're doing some filming. Hey, we're eating, we're, we're traveling. Yep. Here's something cool. Instagram is, is, a, is a glimpse of your life. It's letting your fans see, hey, who you are as a person, right? What's it like day to day? And sometimes we post stuff that's like, has, I post stuff that has nothing to do with business. Yeah. Like nothing to do with business. It's fun stuff, right? So that's rule number two. What's rule number three? Rule number three is to build a tribe. Yes. You don't want to just mark it all over the place and hope something sticks. You want to be very specific with who you're messaging and like who your core audience mm -hmm. is. Because when those people understand that you get them, yes. if they feel in their heart that you understand them, then they will be so committed to everything that you do. They'll engage with your content. They'll buy your products, your services. You're more likely to get a sponsorship or any kind of affiliate deal as well because they know what you stand for. And if it's like, hey, you know what? I stand for the same thing that he does or she does, then it's, it's so much easier to get those deals or get people to buy your products and services. Yes, yes. I believe people follow you not because they understand what you do, People follow you because they feel understood. Mm -hmm. They feel you understand them. That maybe you have a similar story, that you have gone through the same struggles, right? Uh, whenever we, I share something personal um, about my mom, about Jenny, right? Mm -hmm. About my wife, uh, all these things where it's just my personal life, but I connect. I connect with you, I connect with my fans. That's how you build that tribe. You don't build that tribe by being, you know, plastic, fantastic, and perfect all the time. Yeah. That's not what it is. You build that tribe, you build that trust when you just being vulnerable, when you are transparent, right? When you just share and people connect with that, right? So those are the three rules. Three How rules. to get your first 1,000 followers on Instagram. If you want to know how to get more followers and you say, Dan, Blake, I don't just want 1,000 followers, I want 10,000 followers and beyond and more. Click the link here, Blake and I, we're doing a special training, an online event just for you, teaching you how we went from zero to over now 800,000 subscribers on Instagram. It doesn't matter if you want to use Instagram to promote your products, your own services, you want to build a following to get attention, or if you want to build up to a point where you have so many followers that companies and brands would pay you to make a simple post. So click the link here and join us. This is a one-time event on March 11th where you can participate from the comfort of your own home. We're gonna stream this event live so you can participate just from your computer. Join us, click the link, and I will see you very soon.